an image, maybe the white Lego, onto Cloner 3. And right now, it doesn't really show us anything. That's because it's trying to do ACU, and it's too much. It's, it's too small. So I'm going to go back here, clicking on Cloner 3. And instead of having it as a 3x3x3, three by three by three, I'm going to change the z-axis to 1. Uh, let's, let's make it 3. Leave it at 3. I need some depth to that one. Um, I want the y-axis as, let's go 25, and same with the x-axis on the Cloner 3. It's all perspective. Yeah, I bet it's bad on the monitors there. Now, it, it is a little kind of, I don't know what the better turn. It, yeah, it's a little glunky. Um, let's, there we go, that's a little better. Now it's hidden below the the my C there, and I'm going to up the count, maybe 40 by 40, and you can see it is there, it's below the, the, the random, we're, we're starting to get something interesting going on here. Okay, so we want to make this into a movie, right? Uh, definitely. This should be a movie. So we can drag our camera. And now I can shoot a movie. We can also, just like we've done in our previous projects, if I want to bring the uh, Cloner 3 area up higher, I can add that in as an object inside the scene and have them come raise up. So now... As the movie shoots, the letters come up, nice and dramatic. And all I have to do now is render, which I have not set up on this.